It's Wednesday, and when you see this, it'll be Thursday, but that means that I've done what I have done every Wednesday for the past month, and I have gone to Coliseum of Comics on Park Street in Jacksonville, and I have gotten myself a couple of comic picks of the week. Let's talk comics. Oh, that was weird. This week, it's gonna be... Oh, these are in opposite hands than I thought they were gonna be. This week it's going to be X-23 by Marvel and by Image Comics Farmhand. Let's talk Marvel first. Okay, so I think I've mentioned in a video before, but I love mutants. I'm not afraid to say it, I love mutants. <sighs> Feels good to just get out in the open. But this comic was great, X-23. X-23 actually isn't a mutant I've read too much about. I do know about her. She was in that feature Logan film that made all of you guys cry and then was joked about in the Deadpool film. <sighs> She was a clone made from Logan, aka Wolverine's DNA, and then she was, uh, how do I give a succinct history of the clone of a mutant? Okay. Uh, she's already taken over as Wolverine, and now in her own comic, her and her little sister, aka a clone of her, named Gabby, are taking on some big corporations to try and keep them from testing on mutants and creating other mutants like they were created. Because X-23 and Gabby, aka Honey Badger. This is the Honey Badger. Watch it run in slow motion. Which is the cutest code name ever. They were created as weapons. Now, you see some favorites in this comic, and by favorites, I mean favorites. Let's start with Hank. You know him as Beast. He's blue, he's furry, he runs around, but did you know he has like his PhD? He's like the smartest ever. Except for Quentin Choir, but I don't want to talk about that. Also, okay, so in this comic, the Stepford Cuckoos appear. I'm gonna try and give you a brief history on the Stepford Cuckoos as well, but it's a little convoluted. <sighs> The comic does a much better job, so you should pick it up. It's really, really good. I'm gonna put the second one in my subscription. I'm very interested in this. But the Stepford Cuckoos are clones of Emma Frost, and there were five of them, but now there are only three of them, kind of. And because the other two of them, they turned evil and they, like, tried to kill Emma and, like, there's, like, a lot of clones, like, trying to kill their originals, and, um, it's a little... Okay, it's a lot. So basically you find out in this issue that the Stepford Cuckoos are being literally insane. It's not the first time they've ever pulled some weird crazy stuff, but this is a lot. This is a lot. So you want to pick this up and see what the Cuckoos are up to, but more than that, you want to pick this comic up for Honey Badger. She's so stinking cute, I can't even stand it. She's my new favorite. I want to cosplay as Honey Badger. I'm only like 5'3", so I can pull off being like a kid, right? I'm like the size of like a third grader. Another thing I really liked about the X-23 comic is that it was really bright and colorful and everything was cast in sort of reds and oranges and it really gave you a sense of like tone and what was going on. I don't know, this one, it, the colors on it just really struck me and I haven't had that comment about any other comic I've reviewed recently. So they're definitely doing something really cool in that department as well. Is that like a weird nerdy thing to talk about? Listen, I love Easter eggs in comics just as much as the next person. But when Laura and Gabby were inside Xavier's Institute to visit Hank, there's art all over the walls that's indicative of some old X-Men covers and stuff. And then there's this one. I know it's like supposed to be about that old cover, but who on earth would hang up a painting of Scott Summers almost drowning? Like, I mean, that's fine, but they maybe need a new interior decorator. <laughs> all right. And our indie comic pick of the week is Farmhand by Image Comics. We've been with Image Comics before and they didn't disappoint, but this comic was weird. Really weird, but not bad weird. Weird like cold pickle juice on a hot day, a banana peanut butter bacon sandwich kind of weird, you know? It is essentially about organ farming, but take that to the next literal step, like organ farming, like fingers on trees and scalps and lungs and a dude in here is like clipping a toenail in some sort of bush. It's a really interesting take on what would be a scientific advancement, but it kind of starts on this family farm and you see it sort of being just a family farm and then you get the sense that something very strange happened 
and all of a sudden they have the ability to use human tissue and mix it with plants and they're able to use that um, to give people new arms, new legs, stuff like that. But there's definitely something more sinister going on. I won't spoil it for you, but this is a really cool marriage of, my voice did something weird just then. This is a really cool marriage of sort of like a family story mixed with some like lies and deceit. There's like a government and the FBI is involved. So there you go. And kind of a look at what would happen if scientific advancement sort of shot off in a very small town. So this book is both written and illustrated by Rob Guillory and it's very beautiful and the story is really interesting but one of my favorite things is that they call grandma and grandpa and listen I'm from the south and all grandmas are grandmas and all grandpas are grandpas. You hear? Like I said it was a great mix of spooky and I love spooky stuff but also you're really interested in every character that you meet so even the kids who sometimes kids are just like objects to push the story forward but you really get a sense for each little kid in this and then the grandpa you see him as being like a really friendly sort of family man who runs this what was a farm and now is a still a farm but a science farm spooky science farm you see him and you think that he's like this family man and then you learn that perhaps he has a little bit of a background some of the people in the outer community call him the devil. I'm gonna let you guys pick it up and read it for yourself because it was really interesting. It's definitely one of the weirder comics that I have ever read, but good weird. So I'm now editing my comic pick of the week and I noticed that the clasp of my necklace is in the front of my necklace the entire time, the entire video. So that's something to obsess about. And two, I forgot to film an outro. I had to film another video last night and I just, I just lost track of it. So X23, and Farmhand by Image were my two comic picks of the week.